A number of foreign nationals have already been detained at airports across the country. There have also been protests at JFK Airport in New York after it emerged that 11 refugees were being detained there. Under Mr. Trump's executive order, Syrian refugees are banned until further notice and citizens from a total of seven majority Muslim countries will be denied visas for 90 days. Our correspondent in Washington, Gary O'Donoghue, reports. Released after a night in detention, Hamid Khalid Darwish is one of the first to feel the bite of Donald Trump's crackdown on immigration. America is the greatest nation, the greatest people in the world. Mr. Darwish got his visa to come to America on the very day Donald Trump was inaugurated. He worked for a decade as an interpreter for the US military in Iraq and was awarded a special immigration visa for those who had served. His release followed lobbying by human rights groups and a member of Congress. Donald Trump, our president, doesn't get it. This is wrong and we're going to fight it right here on the streets. We're going to fight it in court and we're going to fight it every place and in every corner of America. This is not who we are. The United States. It's just a day since Donald Trump ended his first frenetic week by fulfilling his promise to impose tough new immigration rules aimed at predominantly Muslim countries. Rules, he says, that will keep America safe from terrorism. I'm establishing new vetting measures to keep radical Islamic terrorists out of the United States of America. We don't want them here. People from Libya, Sudan, Somalia, Yemen, Syria, Iraq and Iran cannot enter the U.S. for 90 days, even if they have a valid visa. All refugees will be kept out for 120 days, with the annual limit of around 100,000 halved in future. Syrian refugees will be barred from America indefinitely. This Iraqi-born software engineer has been advised to stay put. I, in fact, had trips planned for yesterday and, and, and next week that I was going to go to Africa for, for business. And uh, I had to suspend all my travel and, and basically just sit still. And, and, and that's how I ended up in, in Boston. I wasn't planning to be in Boston, but I'm now here and, and you know, waiting to see what's going to happen without really a plan for where to go next. It's also emerged that people with a green card could also be banned from those seven named countries, despite the fact that the card gives you rights to employment and residence in the US. It's a move that could split families. There was one case where uh, a, a, a wife uh, was traveling back to Iran to visit her sick father, um, leaving behind her husband and their two-month-old son, and now she is stuck in Iran and cannot get back to see her family again went through the appropriate legal channels, is a permanent resident green card holder, and can't come back to see her family. No fascist USA! Donald Trump's immigration policy has brought condemnation from human rights groups and political opponents. But his tough rhetoric was one of the most important factors in his election victory, and he seems determined to follow through with it. Gary O'Donoghue, BBC News, Washington. Well, the British Prime Minister...